We are in lockdown part three. I'm going to be making these. I can't do anything else. That is also why I am in my pajamas. Minus two outside, watching Harry Potter. So. If you have ever watched The Sound of Music, you know there are multiple children and with that come multiple costumes that Maria had to make overnight and if she's anything like me, she could not have made them overnight because I can um, keep to one thing without being distracted. Anywho, we're starting off with Liesl's dress. I have thought we should have done Louisa's because she's my favourite character because she reminds me of the girl from Jurassic Park but that's a different film. But does anybody else know what I'm on about? No? Okay. My mum gave me these curtains from a friend and they are huge. Seriously, whose windows are this big? So I made the top without actually realising I hadn't filmed me making the top. So here's a picture on paint of how I did it. Just make one back bit a little bit longer so you can get in and out easily. You'll understand in a second. And by in a second I mean now when you go to your drawer, pull out your high school musical defence case you had in your eight and you find your buttons that you want to put down the back so you can get in and out with ease. I've gone for these little green ones. So my book got a bit wet, shall we say, and now I can't literally even like peel the pages apart. Whoever invented that you put the button that you're using in there and then it sews it to like the right size should win all the prizes on the earth. Next, out of the white fabric that's underneath the green fabric, I cut out two funny shapes, pleated the little end, sewed it together, and then sewed all of it together, and then these became my sleeves. While I was doing this, I was watching Jane McDonald, and I literally love Jane McDonald now so much. I want to go on a cruise with her. I just want to be Jane's friend. <laughs> Obviously, I had to stop what I was doing and make a snowman. Isn't he beautiful? If you want to see more pictures, follow me on Instagram. Now, whilst watching another Harry Potter, I cut out some triangles to make the skirt. I think I cut about eight to be exact. I then sew them all together on my sewing machine. Then whilst watching what looks like the Deathly Hallows, I pinned the skirt triangles to the top half. Sewed it all together and then finished off by hemming the bottom, so it was all even. So after looking at all of these, I've realised that instead of making an entire new dress, I could just make the shawl thing that goes on the top of Brigitte's dress and put it on top of the one I've just made. Don't work harder people, work smarter. But the problem is what I've made actually reminds me of a tea cosy and if I wore it I would be like the kettle. So don't tell but I just cut the corners off and I'm just hoping for the best. forget about our boys in this film. I need to make some trousers like this for my little legs. Ah. Beside pyjamas, dungarees are my favourite item of clothing ever. They're great. Like whoever invented them should also win all the prizes on the earth alongside that person who made the button thing. I made two squares, hemmed the edges and put them to the side. I then got another pair of jeans and actually copied the trouser legs from that jeans onto this fabric. Is that cheating? I'm sorry, it's got to be done. One, two, three, four. I then put one leg on top of the other leg and sew them all together. I also made a little turn up. I then sewed the two squares that we made earlier onto the trousers front and back and then measured and made little squares to go in the side. Sewed it all together and broke my needle! I then put some buttons up and down the sides and then I sat on the sofa and made some pockets and these little things to put the belt through. I don't know what they're called. Hooks. I then cut out two really long rectangles, cut them out, sewed the sides together and then got a safety pin, hooked it through and then pulled it back through itself and then I didn't know what buttons to put on so I didn't know whether to choose from these or this or this or this. Guess how much my shoes were? £2 bargain. <laughs>